Hey, okay, while my bacon is frying, I'm doing one last video. I've had so many people ask me about my canister set, and I wanted to show you how I came up with the idea. I tell you, I kind of sort of made them. Um, this is an antique Tom's peanut jar, and this is what I wanted to use for canisters, but they're very expensive. This is about $100, $150 at the antique store. I did not pay that for it. So, what I did is I found these canisters. Target and Walmart has them. Their anchor honking is who makes them. And they have them in all different sizes. The biggest one will hold two whole sacks of flour. This lid was um, silver, and I spray painted it red with um, Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's kind of a pretty candy apple red. And if you'll see, after a while, they get kind of scratched a little bit, and I love that. It'll flake off a little. It just makes it look more like an antique. So I took it apart, and I spray painted it. And then my father-in-law, I designed these online, and I sent him the template, and he cut them out of vinyl for me. And I did the sugar, flour, meal, tea, you know, and I have a cookies one and everything. And I love them because this is the very smallest. I think I said that. Um, and these are my gallon-sized tea bags. Um, they're big enough. You can put a whole measuring cup in them and just scoop it out. And that's why I love these so much. I'm talking to my in-laws now, and I'm trying to talk them into selling sets of these letters exactly like mine are. So I'll let you know if I can talk them into it. Another thing I want to show you is I was talking to you about how I don't use Crisco. I use this. This is a just great value shorting. Yeah. You know, Walmart don't even know I exist. Isn't that funny? As much business as I do Walmart. <laughs> but I wanted to show you this shortening. This is a little plastic spin. I just got from my southern plate basket. I'm going to show you. But look, this is just thick and white. Makes gorgeous biscuits. And a couple years ago, it wasn't like this. If you bought Great Value Short a couple years ago, it was kind of translucent and kind of soft, you know. Um, this is the Southern Plate Basket for this year. Isn't this precious? I just got it in. Um, this is my prototype. And it, hold, it has a little divider. It holds little paper plates and napkins and stuff. And you can just keep it on your counter for a quick snack. This is the Gratitude Basket. These are available for order through, I think, this Friday. And there, after that, I won't, I won't be getting any more. So unless you order it by Friday, if you'd like one, be sure you order one because there won't be any extras or anything. And they're just making them per order for me. But it's also, it's just, it's really nice. It's a very well-made basket. I enjoy it. Anyway, okay, so my bacon should almost be done. I ain't even chopped my onion yet. So I've got to get up there and get that onion so I'll tie it in with the bacon. <sighs> then i got to get to cooking. This has been fun for me. I really enjoyed this. I want to get the kids in on it next time. I'll holler at y'all later. Love you. Bye. Really, this time, bye. Okay, I may come back later. <laughs>